Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are solving some world problems. Oh, wait, word problems. We're solving math word problems. We're going to look at things that are all written out, and we're going to use some math to solve them. We're going to see how knowing math can actually help us in life if we ever, um, I don't know, eat a bunch of hamburgers. So, first off, what to expect today. We are going to identify what the question is asking strategize how we're going to solve it and then set it up with math terms solve the question and check our work those are the basic steps that we are going to follow um, those five steps most um, problem solving strategies are based around these same basic principles although they may call them different things um, for the different steps but this is the basic five-step process for solving word problems Let's take a look at a word problem. If I have 24 hamburgers, I eat half of them in one hour, then my dog eats half of what was left in one hour. How many hamburgers do I have left? So first off, ooh, that is a ridiculous amount of food to eat. All right, now moving on. Let's look at our five-step process. One, what are we looking for? What is the question actually asking? I like to underline this and make sure that it's really obvious. This is what I'm looking for. Sometimes it'll be just knowing what you're looking for will actually make your your the whole process easier. And it also makes it possible at the end for you to check whether you have a reasonable answer. So you need to know what you're looking for. Um, part of this step, sometimes people like to identify what is not important and cross that off. So I'll go ahead and do some of that. If I have, not important, tw hamburgers, doesn't matter what he has. In one hour, doesn't matter. Then my dog eats in one hour. That's pretty much all unimportant information. So the information we have left is there's 24. I eat half of them. My dog eats half of them. Someone else eats half of them. How many do I have left? So 24, half of them, and half of them. That's really what is super important in this. So we can definitely identify that as well. So that's my identify step. What are we looking for? What's not important? Step number two, strategize. How am I going to solve this? This is a strategy. It's not math. So what I say is something like this. Half means dividing. Specifically, half means dividing by two. So I'm going to solve this using division. I'm going to solve it by dividing something in half. Perfect. Um, then I'm going to set it up. That's the step where I actually write down the math. I had 24. I'm dividing it by 2. And then I'm taking what's left and dividing it by 2 again. That's how I would write it down in math terms. Step number 4 says I solve it. And for that step, I'm going to actually do the math. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So my answer is 6. And my final step is to check my work. When I'm doing the check your work step, there's a couple of different things you can do. One, you, you definitely have to ask yourself, does this make sense? Look at the question, how many hamburgers do I have left? I started with 24. I ate half of them. My dog ate half of that. Does having six left make sense? Yeah, if it was an answer like 600 at the end, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense that you have more at the end than when you started. So this step helps us to think about what we're doing. Also, you could actually work the question backwards. Um, this is a step called using inverse operations. So if you start with six and then you double it and double it, would you end back with your 24? Let's see, six times two is 12, 12 times two is 24, it works. So we can actually use that, that's called inverse operations, to work our question backwards as well. All right, those are just a couple of ways. But those are the five steps that I use and how I use them to solve this question. Let's do another question. I spend five hours in class each day. Boring. How much time do I spend in class each week? First off, ew. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go through our steps. First, I identify what is it that we are looking for. The question's asking, how much time do I spend in class each week? What is not important? I spend and boring maybe it might be funny but it's not that important for actually having us answer the question all right so we can cross off the things that are not important now let's strategize how will I actually solve this I go to school five days a week I'm going to multiply times five that's my strategy setting it up is actually writing down the math five hours per day 
times 5 days. My solving is actually doing the math. 5 times 5 is 25. Now I'm going to check my work. I can check my work the same way I did before. First off, does it make sense? Does 25 hours sound like um, a reasonable answer to this is how much time I'm spending in class per week? I could actually work the question backwards. 25 hours divided by five or five days would give me five. So the question would work backwards as well. All right, so here are just two sample questions showing us how we can use these five steps for solving word problems. Let's do a quick step reminder. One, we identify what we are looking for. Two, strategize. How are we going to solve it? Three, write it down. Four, do the math. And five, check your work. So those are the five steps. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.